Praise the Lord, everyone. Welcome to God's Solar 7 channel. I'm Sister Barbara, and I have a prophecy I'd like to share with you today. I received this prophecy on July 25th, 2015. Join me in the New King James Version Study Bible. I'm going to be in chapter 18, book of Revelation, chapter 18. I'm sorry, chapter 19, uh, verses uh, 19 to 21. And I saw the beasts, the kings of the earth, and their armies gathered together to make war against him who sat on the horse and against his army. Then the beast was captured, and with him the false prophet, who worked signs in the presence, by which he deceived those who received the mark of the beast, and those who worshipped his image. These two were cast alive into the lake of fire, burning with brimstone, and the rest were killed with the sword, which proceeded from the mouth of him who sat on the horse. And all the birds were filled with their flesh. So this prophecy is directed to a particular group of people. Um, this is the third prophecy I have like this. Uh, the last one was directed to the Supreme Court of the United States of America, the High Court of Babylon. Daughter, prophesy to the kings, commanders, generals, and armies of every nation. Now is the time of testing, for in one hour judgment will come. It is not enough to say you will do the will of your Father in heaven, but it is the action that is required. You have been put ahead of others and are appointed leaders over men. In your actions and decrees, the power given unto you will be used either for your own purpose or for the purpose of all that stands as good, honorable, and selfless. The decisions you make impact the multitude. The consequences of the decisions are goodness and righteousness, or death, famine, pestilence, and war. It is written in the scriptures that it will come to pass, that it is said, Come all you fowls of the earth to the great feast. You shall feast on the flesh of the leaders of the nations, all those who fight the army of the light shall receive this just punishment. This is a just punishment for the atrocities committed. Now is the time to amend your ways and choose the narrow path, for as it is written, so shall it be done. The beast and the false prophet shall be cast alive into the lake of fire. For my will shall be done on this earth which I created. I am the Lord of hosts, the Lord strong, the Lord mighty in battle. So we know there's a battle going to be taking place. We know there's two armies. We know there's the army of darkness that follows the beast. And we know that there's the armies of uh, the light that follows our Lord Jesus Christ. So this group of people right now that the prophecy is directed to is in the time of testing. We're now in the time of testing. Uh, you are put uh, into power and you, you're, let's see how he puts it here. You have been put ahead of others and are appointed leaders over men. So when it comes time to stand before God Almighty, uh, if you are, for example, a soldier in one of the armies, um, you will have to answer for, for what it is that you did. You can't say, I, got, I was given orders. That's, that's not how this is going to work. If you're directly fighting against the Lord Jesus Christ, you will lose. And the most unfortunate part of, of all of it is when I read, read this here, and I kept on getting this in the scripture. Come and gather together for the supper of the great God, that you may eat the flesh of kings, the flesh of captains, the flesh of mighty men, the flesh of horses, and all those who sit on them, and the flesh of all people, free and slave, both small and great. And the rest were killed with the sword, which proceeded from the mouth of him who sat on the horse, and all the birds were filled with their flesh. You will be eaten by the fowls that are called. So again, uh, repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus. You will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. You can read about that in Acts 2.38. And I'm proclaiming the acceptable year of the Lord from now until September 23, 2015. Yom Kippur, Day of Atonement. And again, I, I find this very interesting. 
that it is the time of testing. I don't think I've had that or Brother Dan in any of our other prophecies. So this time is the time of testing, and I got the prophecy on July 25th, 2015. Remember to like us on God's Solar 7 uh, Facebook channel. God bless you all. Be safe. Amen.